My name is Francesca Jordan. I am Desiree Jordan's daughter, 16 year old daughter. I'm going to show you how to put the ribbon on the hair clip so the veil can be sewed onto it. Now as we want to get a stretched pattern, as we go from behind, you want to bring it under, fold it in two, bring it through here again and bring it over so that this back bit is folded and then this bit shows the stitching and then we do that again fold it underneath bring it out the top pull it nice and tight so it has the folding of it again and you keep doing that until you get to the very end of the hair slide which is to here and I'll show you the finishing product when I'm done you see as it's structured you have it neatly folded almost in line but nothing's perfect And I keep doing that until I get to the end. Now as you can see, I've finished putting the ribbon on the fork, fork slide? The hair slide. <laughs> um, I have a better structured pattern than my mother. <laughs> it's more neater. I'm here. <laughs> even though she's done this longer than me. I'm going to tuck it in. Then cut off any frilly bits that stick out along the way. can see and then from here this piece of the ribbon I'm going to stitch it with the back of the ribbon here so that it stays nice tight and secure that wasn't needed on the first on the beginning of the hair slide because it started from the second, from the second bar, and then I had to go back on myself, and then redo it all again, so that it stays nice, tight, and firm. And now I'm going to go and stitch it. Right, this is one of the annoying things about um, doing uh, veils, making veils. First, in preparation, before you actually cut the edges because you have to straighten up the edges in order not to waste so much fabric I have to go down it, go down it and uncurl where it's twisting and straighten the fabric up before I can actually cut it so it's quite a nuisance actually I put the fabric on a red background so that you can see what it is I'm doing because the last veil that I put it on, it was um, the actual table, but I just like you to see. So what I've done is I've ironed down the side here, and I'm going to cut a straight line and straighten this up. And I'm going to cut a straight line here to straighten this up as well, because the edgings are not straight. And then when I cut here, I've got this fabric folded t twice, so the top of the head and the bottom of the veil, they're going to be a semicircle cut and curve. And that's it. And then I'm gonna stop and open it up and then I'm gonna cut only the top. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to straighten this up. requires that the fail that goes over her head is going to be 36 inches 
tail that is going over her head is going to be no no let me not concern myself with that yet just in case i make a mistake but yes it's going to be 36 inches 32 inches sorry so i'm going to measure myself 32 inches i'm going to allow an inch or so to for mistakes because i can afford to so 34 inches is there um 34 inches is there and from that I'm going to use my right angle to straighten it up because I've just cut this edge here so that's 36 inches now from here to here I'm going to round it off now how do we do that basically you just round it off it's roughly that this is the bottom so it doesn't really have to be exact but another way of rounding it off is let's say if we wanted it equal let's get a right angle I don't want to take too much off so let's say if we round it off that amount so from that point to that point and just round it off so it's equal and that would be roughly 23 there and 23 there so let's just nip it I'm not going to cut off so much there I'm going to let's draw it so that you can see I'm going to round it off like that and that is the bottom of the veil unfold it before you cut it no this is these two both these two need to be cut is when I'm going to do that the bottom bit here so let's cut this round it off and there we have this is what I don't like about working with this fabric. It's so difficult to keep still. There you can see my circle. Let's round this off a bit more. And there we have the bottom of the veil and the top of the veil. Now I'm going to open it up because you've reminded me to open it up and now we're going to cut just the top of the veil so we're going to remove this section here which is the bottom of the veil and now we're going to measure 32 is where it is so I'm going to keep it at 34 to allow for any mistakes and for the top so 34 on this case I'm going to put pins going across um, so that when I gather it up I can use the pins as a marking Thirty-four. Here's my right angle. So now, the top part of the veil, I'm going to cut this section out. And this section that I'm cutting out is going to be the circle that goes around her head. 
so it goes around like that. Now I'm folding this down to get the other side of the circle. This section is going over her head, and this section is back around. So this is the veil, this section here. That's the veil over her head. I'm going to put some pins in along there so that this stays nice and straight. Just to make sure that I get a nice straight line. That's, that's the bit that I'm going to gather up. So let me iron that and hope it stays. It's always frightening just doing this bit here as well. Let me test it out first.
going back down memory lane, I actually burned a veil that I was making and I had to start all over again. Ah, right, so that's that. of it. That's where the gathers go. And this. This is the bit that goes around the face. Now like per usual, my customers always change their mind. Now I've got to stitch this thing going all the way around to finish it up. Just a nice stitch and that drops down like that. That drops down to meet the rest. So, th so this is the top half. This is, it goes, that gather bit goes on the top of her head. And as you can see how long this trail is. So now I'm going to put the edge in. Um, actually, what she really wanted was white stitching going all the way around. On the last veil, I showed you that it was um, silver beads I put. This one's going to be a white edging. But I'm not too sure if I might put a real thin cord inside it so it can stand out a bit much. But then again, all it really needed, all, all she really requested was a um, like an overlocking stitch going all the way but a really thin line so it can stand out a little bit but that's it actually and then I'll add it put it to the the comb I'll gather up the middle and then add it to the comb so there it is what you're looking at is only half it's folded so imagination open it up with your eyes and um, open up yeah so it's half and then you see mirror image and that's how it is the, the middle section is pinned together so you won't be able to open that up yeah all right so that's it here I'm gathering it up by hand I just want it to have this gather here before I move it off the table because the next step I'm not going to do this gathering first I'm going to take it to the machine open it up and do the edging all the way around this um, veil first but the trap I can fall in if I move this first I can get this uneven and I don't want it uneven so I thought I'm following the ironing mark that I've done. You saw when I iron it. So I'm just putting this in and, I, and that be ready for me when I'm ready to stitch it and gather it by machine, making it stronger. Right. Let me just tie this together. I've reached to the stage at this moment that um, here is the um, the veil as you can see it's a long one um, the fabric required in this one is over four meters so it's at the stage now that I'm gonna get my overlocker out and and I'm gonna put an edge in around the corn around the edges so that's gonna take some time um, this edging is just gonna be done by 
um, just the overlocking so I'm going to do it as close as I can with the overlocking and just give a little white edging going round um, but in the meantime here's, you can see here's, here is the um, the veil for the face here is when I gathered it you saw when I hand stitched it to gather it then I took the machine and up there I stitched it along there first before I I folded over making sure that the overlocking is the good side of the overlocking when the veil is down it is down so there is a right and a wrong for the overlocking so when it goes back on itself the overlocking will be on the wrong side but the majority of the veil would be on the right side so here I've pinched it here to give this effect that when this is over gives that nice effect inside so let's and make sure when I'm attaching it to the comb is that I make sure that the bump is facing downwards of the comb. So, when you look at it from the top, you will be looking at it like that. You could have it like that as well, but no, I prefer it like that. And then this will come over it and the hair when she styled her hair it will hide it but it doesn't need to be hidden anyway because of the ribbon but that's how it would look let's see what it looks like that way hmm no Show you the length of it. Let's see. Turn your head, turn your head, turn around. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. Yeah? You pleased with it? Yes. Great. <laughs> And, and especially this bit, you have no idea about this bit around the edge. This bit took one and a half hours to do by itself. This, this silly little thing. But it's, it's delicate, you have to be careful with that.